Pine Seal version 2 TS 101 tips and I'm also going to check something else. We may have another one in the mix that we can throw in here and actually use with the iron, but we're going to try that out later on in the video. So, uh, like I said, let's quit jaw jacking, but it'll show the model, which is PTS201, the temperature, the voltage. Uh, it's showing that uh, it's locked so that you can't turn, turn it on because obviously it has no tip. All right, you start up. And let's see, let's go, or I'm sorry, we'll hold it. We'll go to system, let's start at the bottom. We'll go to system settings first, personalize. And from here, you can go to screen and you can adjust uh, the panels. The You can flip the screen from left to right. You can turn animations on and off. You can set the brightness. And then let's see list mode is on and you change list mode and you'll go to these panels here and instead of actually having a scrolling list on your menu options you'll have these panels i don't really like the panels so i prefer to go to the list mode because it's a little bit more intuitive to me it makes more sense um, let's see then we go back. Let's go back. And then we've got sound where we can change, turn the sound on and off. Uh, button direction. Now what this will do is I've been hitting this to go down and this to go up. And it doesn't wrap around in the menu. Now if I select this, it'll be the opposite. This will go up the menu and this will go down the menu. And let's see, sleep settings, and then we go back. All right, so then we go here, you can update the firmware, and you can reset to factory defaults. And then you've got under voltage protection. So uh, it's got under voltage protection built in, and it's showing three volts. In other words, it you, it, it is set to, uh, not do not to even try and do anything at three volts or less then you've got a password that you can set up on it which is kind of odd but okay obviously languages is chinese and uh english and it's obviously obviously in english and then let's look at a to go to a github page uh, instead of just displaying uh, version information oh here we go version 0 1 at 240 megahertz 4 megabytes u16 or yeah u16.2 percent october 8th 2024 go back in the menu and this time we're going to go to solder settings now tips let's get to that one let's get to that one last so because there's some there's some things in there that are pretty pretty cool so temperature scene in here you can set your initial temperature which is 300 degrees celsius uh, boost temperature which you hold down the uh, ok button for x amount of seconds and it boosts for a short period of time and so it's set to uh, 50 degrees celsius so at 300 you're soldering and you need a little bit extra heat hold down that ok button for a few seconds and it'll boost to 350 and then sleep right here is set to 100 and in here uh so at 15 minutes the iron will actually turn itself off and at that point that's where the tip and everything will cool completely down uh you can set your boost in seconds so right now you hold that okay button for 30 seconds and it's gonna it's gonna boost for 30 seconds then sleep seconds is four so if you just leave it alone for about four seconds apparent according to this it will drop into sleep and then in 15 minutes it'll turn itself off and this has a gyroscope built into it so that should wake up when we grab it then uh, sleep sensitivity so apparently you can adjust the sensitivity fully picking it up and fixing to use it 
for it to uh, drop out of sleep. So you can adjust your sensitivity. That's kind of cool. Uh, screensaver. Wow. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, then we go back. And then we've got heat settings. Which in uh, heat settings, you can turn PID on or you can turn it off. Uh, of course, if you don't need that... Uh, See, these, these are just settings that I'm not going to mess with because the instructions don't have anything about it. So you go under solder settings and then tips. And then apparently you can set up certain tip profiles that you want to use with this iron. I think this iron has a huge, tremendous amount of configurability. So we're back in sleep mode and let's pick it up. And here we are. She's heating back up. And if you hear a lot of noise outside, we've got a storm going on here in the central southern state. And uh, so it's getting pretty loud. And then this is a tip from the TS-101, which is the exact same tip. Should be no issues whatsoever. And of course you can see, uh, or maybe you can, the heat rising off the tip. So the tip's heating just fine. All right, so this tip right here is a TSBC2 tip. And we're just gonna shove it in there. Of course, it looks the same as the TS-101s. And we're cooling down. Okay, so we know that all of these tips, which are basically the same thing, work just fine. So I'm gonna let those cool down. Now, this is what we're gonna try, a T12 tip and let's start heating. And it is heating up. Now, so this iron is not necessarily designed to be used with the T12 tips it does seem to function just fine. So I'm actually kind of kind of figuring that uh, if it fits, it's gonna work. That is doing just fine. So I do like that. I like the ability to have options. We all know that I like options above everything else. So we can use the included tip, which is the same as the TS-101, uh, TS-100 uh, style tips, which is also compatible with the uh, PTS-200 and the Ping-64 Pine Seal V2. So a little recap, uh, this, PTS-201 soldering iron, in my opinion, and I can't help but compare it to the PTS-02 um, because they are so similar. It is like they set out with the intent of duplicating Fenersi's, uh soldering iron. Now, this iron, the things I like about it, is the fact that it has, uh, it is so configurable. It's so you can you can customize this iron right here to your liking. Uh, this iron is got all of the features, in my opinion, that the Fenersi HSO2 does. Uh, I do like this uh, TS100 style tip better, uh, in my opinion. I, I, it just it's more meaty, uh, in I think. Um, the HSO2 is uh, pretty much locked down uh, by Finerci. Uh You can't put a different OS on it. 
uh, you you're locked into their updates. This is more configurable here. You you can uh, this if I'm not mistaken, this has the Iron OS on it, and uh, you can update this and uh, uh, change it out, uh, adjust it, make tweaks. Nice. Uh, it's lighter than the HSO2. I don't say that is a plus uh, because they're both. I mean, even the HSO2 is light enough that it's it's not a a, a non it's not a, it is a non issue. Uh, the Finerci HSO2 has a ground uh, screw on it. This does not have a ground screw on it. Uh, of course, they are both uh, USB-C power delivery compatible. The HSO2 is uh, 20 volts max. This one says on the casing it is 20 volts, 5 amps, 100 watts, which matches the HSO2. But uh, in the settings, you can change this to a 28 volt. Uh, so, again, uh, I think it's uh, how you've configured the iron inside. Uh, it is stamped 20 volts, so I d would not recommend going over 20 volts with it, but I wouldn't have a problem. This one right here, uh, it doesn't say particularly that don't go over 20 volts, uh, but in the, the own configuration that is built into this, you can set it to 28 volts. Um, so as long as you can supply that to it, apparently it can take it. I even put a T12 tip in there and it worked. And so configure uh, options and configurability, that is the major plus that I see with this uh, PTS201. Uh, for the price, I definitely recommend grabbing it. So I'd like to uh, ask that if you find this useful, that you would like and subscribe. Uh, comment below. Now, I say this doesn't have a, uh, a three and a half millimeter barrel jack. Uh, the same as HSO2, there's an adapter that goes from USB C to a three and a half millimeter barrel jack. So, uh, anyway, I thank you for spending your time here with me during this stormy, stormy Louisiana night. And uh, I hope to see you again, and I hope that we get to spend more time together. Thanks, and God bless. All right, I think this little iron right here with its custom ability, its ability to use other tips, power, all metal case, I think we're onto something here.